Oh, well, Macy, you were there the day the Phoenix were given a double or A League women's license. Did it feel like it's taken a while for you to finally get your chance with the team? Uh, yeah, I've been watching from the side for a while now, a couple of years, but I'm just grateful to get an opportunity and be out on the field now. Yeah. And how did it feel um, making your debut and then getting that first goal? Wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it felt great. I uh, love playing for this team. I love playing underneath Paul Temple. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, we're playing really good football and yeah, I'm happy to be a part of it. What went through your mind when you were preparing for your debut and talk us through how you, how you found it compared to you know, time in the academy? Um, I was obviously quite nervous. <laughs> it was a bit of a step up from the academy, but again, so grateful and it was a good feeling once I was on the field. Yeah, it's just another game of football and I could, yeah, get into my groove. <laughs> how much has it helped you, do you think, adapt up to the A-League having Paul there, someone that you'd obviously be pretty familiar with? Um, a lot, yeah. He's been great for myself and my confidence and the football he's implementing here is really good. S small ball, <laughs> trademarked by Full Temple. <laughs> yeah, it's really good football. We keep the ball and we can move forward with it and it's, yeah, it's the best way to play in my opinion. Yeah, and as attack an attacking midfielder, how much have you enjoyed gelling with, with your teammates up front so far this season? Um, a lot, yeah. It's been good. Every week in training I feel like we're getting better and getting more on the same page and yeah, I can't wait to see what happens further forward in the season. How pleased was everyone with how you stepped up from game one to game two in terms of as an overall result? Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually think I had the best game in my second game but obviously I had a bit of influence with the goal and yeah, I'm happy to have made that influence, but I think we can get even better from that one, yeah. Nice. Was that the best goal you've scored? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it was probably the biggest goal I've ever scored. Yeah, I've never played in a professional league before, so I guess everyone can see it now, and yeah, I hope to score more. You've got a lot of, lot of young teammates as a young team. Does that kind of give you confidence that you've all come, kind of started from a similar place and you're all at a similar stage of your careers as well? Uh, yeah, f yeah, I guess. Um, it's nice to have them alongside me and we come, have come up through the academy playing Paul's style of football. So, yeah, that does give me a bit of confidence and it's nice to be on the same page as them. So, yeah. How much of a confidence booster was that win in terms of how you guys are projecting for the season? Does it feel like you can beat anyone on your day in this competition? Yeah, in my opinion, I think we can beat anyone if we play good football and keep the ball and move forward with it and be confident around the box. I believe we can beat anyone and I'm really excited to get better and build on that performance. Yeah. And what, I mean, what is your goal for this season? What is something that you would like to accomplish? For myself. For probably. yourself, yeah. I just want to keep making an influence on games, scoring goals, having assists and yeah, just being a part of the good football Paul's trying to play. And is how you're playing and how you're winning games more important than necessarily winning or do you kind of get what I mean? Like is playing good football sort of a non-negotiable for, for you guys in this team under Paul? Yeah, I think at the end of the day what matters is we're winning games and yeah, getting the three points, but of course we want to play good football and be playing small ball, yeah. <laughs> did, it, did it take longer than you thought to get a look in on this team? Did it take longer? Yeah, because I, I guess like you've always had like a lot of um, you know, promise as a player. Um, did you think you should have been in there that first year? And, and yeah, uh, has it taken a bit longer than you would have thought to, to get that professional derby? I think that everyone has a different journey and this is just mine. I like maybe didn't, I wasn't in the right positions or I didn't, I don't know, I don't really know, I can't really comment on that but I think everyone's journey is different and this is the way mine has gone and I wouldn't change it. I think it's made me grow as a player and person and yeah. Because how much um, confidence has Paul given you as well? Like it seems like he's a coach that really sees your potential and has kind of gone, okay, well, I'm 
coach now, I want to bring you in and, and give you a key role in this team as well. Yeah, he's given me a lot of confidence. He's told me from day one he believes in me and that I can go places and I'm really grateful for that. I think as a player it really helps when you have a coach who believes in you and cares for you and actually wants you to do well. Yeah. We saw a photo of you um, when you were a little girl walking out with the Phoenix playing in Christchurch. <laughs> um, so the yeah. Phoenix has always been sort of an influence in, in your life and your career. But did you always have faith that you would get to where you are now and achieve the things that you're, you're currently achieving? Yeah, well, I grew up watching the Phoenix every weekend with mum and dad and my brothers. So, yeah, it's a cool achievement to be here now. I, I always wanted to play professional and a couple of years ago I didn't think it was going to happen but yeah I just guess stuck to it and <laughs> I'm here now so grateful. <laughs> Did anything have to change for you and like your football over the last couple of years or like has it just been a case of yeah getting a coach that believes in you or like yeah have you had to to prove yourself or improve in, in any sort of way? Yeah I've definitely had to prove myself and keep improving I think Every day, every week, I'm trying to learn and grow as a player and just keep building on what I am, yeah.